Welcome to Process Analysis 360, a web-based product that helps engineers and system designers model, study, and optimize manufacturing processes. Take advantage of existing data from the shop floor to populate the study or use the toolbar for dragging new block diagrams into the workspace. The factory asset warehouse contains the physical equipment that is used in the layout. Simply drag the asset to a process, source, buffer, or finished product. This is the same asset library that is used in AutoCAD and Inventor, which will save time during the design stage. Use process analysis to easily identify bottlenecks from planning through layout to help increase your efficiency. Build and analyze your process models almost anytime, anywhere from your web-enabled device. Make modifications for processes and transportation methods early when making changes is the easiest and most affordable to do so, before layout design has even begun. Reports can then be generated and sent to coworkers for review. Check the percentage of time equipment is being utilized, blocked, or down for repair. Also check utilization of buffers and track transportation modes. Once the study is complete, it can be saved as a DWG and used directly in the 2D design. Use familiar AutoCAD tools to move and rotate assets into desired locations in the layout. And finally, sync to Inventor for a full 3D representation of the factory floor. Process analysis is a great tool for simulating and optimizing your designs and is part of the Autodesk Digital Prototyping Solution. Autodesk Factory Design Suite provides the tools for efficient design of your layout. Let's begin here in AutoCAD where we use standard commands to add another tire assembly for the ATV. Also take advantage of the Asset Browser for additional equipment. Chained assets make it fast and easy to apply multiple conveyors simply by drawing a polyline or even selecting an existing one. There are thousands of assets to choose from in the library. Autodesk stores a majority of them in the cloud to maximize local hard drive space and make it easier to collaborate with team members as well as customers. Simply search for the object and drag it into your layout design. These assets support the ability to copy and array for easy placement of additional items. Once the design is complete, it can be synced to a 3D representation in Inventor with a single button click. As you will see in the next video, Autodesk Factory Design Suite provides bi-directional associativity between the 2D and 3D design. Additional changes can be made in Inventor and synced back to AutoCAD. Now that the design has been synced over to 3D, Autodesk Factory Design Suite provides several other capabilities for working with assets in Inventor. The factory properties are available to make changes to the equipment that was added in the previous video. We just changed the height of the platform to make room for the assembly line. We'll also heighten the conveyor to avoid collision with the moving truck fixture. Additional factory equipment can be searched from the asset warehouse. Here we will replace this straight conveyor with a Y merge type. Simply search the library and utilize existing connectors for easy placement of the asset on the floor. The physical properties are automatically adopted from the connected equipment. Including factory assets in your layout is intuitive and requires minimal training. Search for assets locally or choose from thousands stored in the cloud. The triad also shows up next to the model that is dragged in. This enables the ability to quickly rotate and translate it into position. At any point during the design process, there is the ability to sync back to AutoCAD for a nice 2D top view of the factory layout. Autodesk Factory Design Suite delivers tools for factory planning in Navisworks, a unique application for installation and sequencing, 3D walkthroughs, 
as well as class detection. The Timeliner provides technology for the construction and demolition of factory equipment for new projects as well as changes made to existing designs. The data can be entered into Navisworks or even imported from other planning software such as Microsoft Project or Primavera. The Simulation tab enables the ability to visually observe the scheduled installation of each asset. Also take advantage of 3D virtual walkthroughs. It's now easier than ever to identify areas of concern before any physical equipment is ordered or brought into the building. Simply navigate through the facility using your mouse, or use the option to look around where you're standing. Even laser scans can be brought into Navisworks to ensure that columns and overhead items such as piping and HVAC are not interfering with machines. Let's take a closer look at the jib cranes. Animations of equipment not only displays the range of motion, they can also be utilized to find clashes with other 3D assets or the laser scan point cloud. Will the arm run into the piping from the scan? Let's find out by running the clash detection with the jib crane animation included. Notice the clash with the pipe shown in green. Remember that any changes made in Inventor are associative in Navisworks. Here we can access the properties of the crane and adjust the height to fit below the overhanging objects. Once we return to the main assembly and save our design, we can then observe the changes in Navisworks and find out if the clash has been resolved. Simply rerun the existing test and witness in this case there is no longer a concern. Scheduling, visualization, and simulation, Autodesk Factory Design Suite provides the technology you need for successful planning of your layout. Autodesk Factory Design Suite makes asset creation fast and easy, regardless of the CAD system it's created in. Here you can see a storage rack modeled in Inventor. The asset browser displays a ribbon with all the options available for adding it to the library. A landing surface is selected for proper orientation to the factory floor. Optional connectors can also be added for chaining multiple storage racks side by side. This eliminates the time-consuming task of creating constraints in the assembly environment. Publishing the asset prepares the 3D model and 2D DWG for the factory library. We'll use this in an assembly in just a moment. Let's take a look at a second asset created in another CAD system. We can use models from native file formats such as CATIA, ProE, Creo, NX, and SolidWorks. Once the file is open, it is the same process of selecting a landing surface and an optional connector for attaching the robot to an existing riser. Let's go ahead and publish the asset and use them both in our design. Remember from the previous video how easy it is to find the equipment you're searching for and drag it into the factory layout. Assets automatically orient themselves to the floor and connectors can be used to constrain more than one in a series. Also notice the asset tag above the storage rack displays the current description. Factory properties can be changed on the left for size and appearance, affecting all the connected assets. Even existing assets in the design will update when dragged together. Let's change the color to red and take a look at the property information. Even the description automatically remains up to date for an accurate bill of material. Finally, we'll use the robot arm open from SolidWorks. The added connector enables us to drag the asset directly on the riser we added in the AutoCAD video. Asset creation in Autodesk Factory Design Suite helps get your layout done fast and efficiently.